OK, great. Uh, so I am going to talk about detecting RCU bugs. And as you can see, I got a lot of input on this work from Paul and Frederick. So they are not allowed to ask questions in the beginning. Everybody else, you're allowed to. <laughs> OK, so why is this a problem? And you know, there's an asterisk there. <laughs> right? I mean, in other words, it's easy to write RCU bugs. And it's sort of hard to debug those. Um, so the fun thing is that you know, when I started discussing this problem with my advisor, his first question was, what is RCU? And yeah, the thing is that there are so many papers written on it for, I guess, almost 15 to 20 years. And every time you learn something new when you read the paper the second time or maybe the third time, and as you come at the end of it, you have a very good idea of what it is, but you really can't explain it. So we had this two hour long discussion where we said, you know what, let's define this thing. And this is essentially what we said. RCU guarantees existence of consistent data within an RCU read critical section. That's all. That brings us to the next important bit. How do you define correctness for RCU? Well, we came up with a set of invariants. The first thing we said is, well, you know what? It's obvious. RCU protected data is consistent. OK, great. Uh, second thing is it's read only because every time we update, we make a copy, and you know, nobody else is supposed to change these old versions. And finally, at some point in time, there must be garbage collection. Otherwise, you know, you're going to run out of memory. So you know, this thing I said, consistency. Sure, go ahead. Sir, yes. We will come to that. <laughs> so in any case, you know, I, I talked about data being consistent. So how do we then manage to do you know, linkless? We have doubly linkless, and it's sort of hard to have a consistent view you know, where your next previous is yourself. So we came up with this definition is it's consistent if it meets some set of invariants. I still have to think a little bit about the if and only if, but let's go with if for now. Then I made the mistake of showing this to Paul. So you know, this is where we were. First thing Paul says is, well, that's wrong. Instead, it's guaranteed to remain in existence. Sure, we can live with that. Then he comes and tells me that, you know what, is also wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, well, we can live with that as well. Um, and for simplicity, I'm still going to go with read only just because you know, that's where it makes life easier for me. It can easily be extended for stuff like you know, we have a well-defined update policy. We're not talking about situations where you're moving from RC protection to rep counting and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> OK. Um, so coming up, well, the next thing is what do we try to solve? The two types of bugs, correctness and performance. Performance I'm going to leave to Paul. That's his problem. Correctness is what we are going to look at, because um, these are sometimes hard to debug and hard to figure out. Now. What do we do about correctness bugs? Which types of correctness bugs do we have? Uh, garbage collection must always take place um, after a grace period has gone by. It might be one, it might be two, it might be how many ever, but it should always take place after that, which brings us to two situations. Either you do that too early for whatever reason, or um, you try to access protected data without marking it as protected. Uh, it's not in a critical section, or your critical section never ended. Um, the next thing that we are looking at is uh, protected data is modified. So essentially, where you maybe should have been doing an RCU assigned pointer or something like that, you don't, you're not following your 
well-defined update policy, you did it wrong. And finally, you know, your data has to be consistent, and it's actually come out to be inconsistent for whatever reason. Now, because I'm out of time, and I knew I would be out of time, this is the solution we are looking at. We're looking at poisoning all the protected data, and instead of poisoning it after it should no longer be used, what we're saying is it's always poisoned, and we give you the antidote when it's actually correct. Uh, I have a boff tomorrow. If you come over there, we can discuss this in more detail. Okay, thank you. Uh, and I guess I'm going to invite Paul and Andrew for their talk. <laughs>